WJMN-TV. Marquette, Escanaba. This is Local 3 News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemay. Michigan's Attorney General released a report today outlining allegations of sexual assault against priests who served in the Diocese of Marquette. John Truitt has the details. I'm Attorney General Dana Nessel, and I'm announcing the release of a report by my department concerning allegations of abuse that took place in the Diocese of Marquette. Attorney General Dana Nessel announced the release of her investigation into allegations of sexual assault by current and former members of the Marquette Catholic Diocese. The report indicates allegations against 44 priests in Michigan, with 38 of them having ties to Marquette. The report contains detailed descriptions of allegations of sexual abuse and other sexual misconduct, including grooming against minors and adults going back to the 1950s. There are 44 priests on this list. 38 were employed or incarnated by the Marquette Diocese. In response to these allegations, Bishop John F. Dorfler held a press conference today to reinforce the church's stance on sexual abuse and the willingness on the part of the diocese to cooperate in any and all investigations into sexual abuse. On behalf of the church, I offer a sincere apology to anyone who has been abused by clergy in the Catholic Church. You are and should have been our priority. There is no excuse for what happened to you. It is especially grievous if your voice was not heard. Thank you to those who have courageously come forward to bring light into this darkness, which has brought so much harm. Dorfler went on to encourage anyone who is the victim of abuse to please come forward. And I, and I just want to say to anyone who's been harmed by clergy sexual abuse, uh, please come forward. We want to walk with you in that healing journey. Though the allegations go back as far as the 1950s, victims may come forward decades after the abuse, suffering emotional anguish and life challenges as a result. I specifically want to thank the survivors who have shared their stories, sometimes after decades of silence. Their willingness to come forward helped bring attention to an issue that has affected so many in our state and so many in our country, including children. The allegations in this report are just that, allegations, and remain so until someone is proven guilty in court. In Marquette, John Truitt, Local 3 News.